Welcome to News Talk with Simone Ivani at the International News Channel. Hindu organizations in North America are all prepared and ready to celebrate Hindu Heritage Month, which is just around the corner. A press release from World Hindu Council of America declared October to be Hindu Heritage Month. The release said, Hindu Dharma-based organizations, including those of Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, and Jain traditions from around the world, are pleased to announce the addition of another major festival, indeed an entire month of festivals in October as the Hindu Heritage Month. A whole month dedicated to showcasing diversity that is fundamental to the Hindu community residing in North America. Hindus represent one of the newest and fastest growing immigrant communities in the United States and Canada, as organizers say. Participation is open to all organizations, businesses, and individuals that identify with the Sanatan values embodied in Hindu Dharma. More than 30 organizations have already partnered up and more are expected to join in the showcasing of Hindu heritage, culture, traditions, and histories. Joining me today to discuss the Hindu Heritage Month further is Jay Bansal, Vice President of the World Hindu Council of America, who aims to raise awareness, serve the community, network, and cultivate Hindu values. Thank you so much for agreeing to join me, Bansalji. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. So, just to start off, if you had to describe what Hindu Heritage Month is, how would you describe it? Well, uh, Simone, first of all, uh, I would like to thank Tag TV uh, for giving us this opportunity to uh, get our message out to uh, your audience. Um, this is a very exciting opportunity for us, uh, uh, Hindu Heritage Month. You know, um, a number of uh, uh, dharma-based organizations in the United States and Canada have come together and decided to celebrate our common uh, cultural heritage during the entire month of October mm -hmm. 2021. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not just an event, but actually a series of events uh, that different organizations will be and individuals will be holding at various times during the month of October. Mm -hmm. And was there a reason behind choosing October in particular? Absolutely. Uh, you know, if you think about it, uh, October is already a Hindu Heritage Month for us in so many ways. You know, um, this is when we have our Navratri, uh, Dushara, and uh, Durga Puja, and a lot of times Diwali also falls in uh, October, okay. sometimes in November. Um, of course, you know, you, uh, we're not going to be able to match the Hindu calendar uh, with the, uh, you know, with the Western calendar all mm -hmm. the time. But October is when a lot of our festivals take place. So we decided that, uh, uh, you know, it's the month that covers majority of our things. So we should, uh, you know, fix on October as the month for mm. doing it. No, that's fair enough. And what is the purpose behind having Hindu Heritage Month? Right. The purpose is actually very simple, Simone. Um, you know, we are people of Dharma. We have a very rich and shared cultural heritage. So we simply want to celebrate it as a community mm. and share our value system uh, with the societies that we live in. Now, of course, it doesn't hurt to remind the world that Hindus are one billion strong, you know, across the globe. Yeah. Uh, now, when you combine it with other dharma based uh, belief systems, such as the Sikhs, Buddhists and Jains, we would be actually the second largest faith system in the world. But then when you add all those people, you know, uh, who believe in, uh, who do not believe in uh, proselytizing and know the art of living in peace and harmony in a multicultural mm -hmm. society, mm -hmm. you know, that population size is staggering across the world. So just imagine if that entire community came under one roof and celebrated this shared heritage, what the world would look like. Mm. So that's the reason we're doing it. No, it sounds, that sounds like a great reason to do it in the first place. So speaking of the idea as a whole, would you be able to tell our viewers some details of the celebration and what will that look like? Absolutely. So uh, Hindu Heritage Month is uh, based on uh, what we call open architecture. Okay. Um, we invite uh, all organizations who are aligned with the Dharma philosophy to become our partners and, and then hold whatever event they want to hold at their uh, schedule during the month of October. Um, you know, the, obviously the event has to be something that, you know, speaks to our uh, value system, mm -hmm. you know, our, whether it's, uh, you know, a religious festival, whether it's talking about, uh, you know, what we stand for as a culture, 
or uh, celebrating some other aspect or or for that matter you know yeah, just having a panel discussion about uh, various aspects of our uh, value system mm. so um since this is an open architecture uh, what you will find is uh, that on any given day um there may be multiple events taking place um you know in different parts of the united states and canada mm. fair enough which organizations are participating in the celebrations if you could just maybe name a few absolutely um so there are uh, right now there are uh, several dozen organizations that are uh, you know that are reg registered with us uh -huh. i'll just name some of the uh, some of the big ones that uh, people know about so for for instance uh, uh, starting with ourselves the world hindu council of america uh, also known as vhpa we are 51 year old organization serving the um, you know hindu community in uh, north america uh for as i said 51 years uh we have uh, hss uh, which is hindu swamsevak uh, sang there is an organization called kona coalition of uh, hindus of north america mm -hmm. then uh, we have organization called haf which stands for uh, hindu american foundation mm. uh, hmec which stands for uh, hindu mandir executive committee mm. uh, so hindu mandir executive uh, conference and hsc which stands for Hindu Student Council. Now, uh, and there are many, many more, as I said. Uh, this is the current snapshot, mm. and this uh, list will only grow because there are a lot of other organizations that are talking to us and will become partners in this, uh, in this grand affair. No, they sound like pretty big names for what they are, and I'm actually very excited to see how it's all gonna come together and pan out. Speaking of, how can an interested organization or individual sign up to participate in the month? Great, uh, great question. Um, all you have to do is go to our website and it's a very simple name, www.hindumonth.org. Okay. And uh, uh, if you are an organization you, and you want to become a partner, you simply click on the button that, that says register as a partner and then just follow the instructions. Okay. Now, the, once an organization has registered, uh, we will review the, uh, the the background of the organization and then approve them uh, to become our partners because we don't want just anyone, uh, you know, registering. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that these are legitimate organizations who want to be partners. That that cycle may take 24 hours, but we try to make it uh, as quick as possible. Once uh, uh, we approve them, their name and logo will uh, be added to our uh, website. Now. Uh, once they, uh, once we have, you know, one, once an organization is approved, um, they can register their events on our website, mm -hmm. and uh, there are links available for registering. Uh, if you're doing it for the first time, there is a link for it, and then if you're, you know, adding more events, there is a separate link for it. All you have to do is just provide all the credentials, all the information about that event, mm -hmm. and be added to our uh, community event calendar that way our audience can see which events are taking place where and they can choose uh, which event they want to participate in on on any given day okay that sounds very exciting i hope we can put that up somewhere on our website as well final question to you what are your future plans for hindu heritage month in the upcoming years how does that look like Right. Uh, so this is uh, first year and, uh, you know, given the limited amount of time we had, we decided to focus on the United States and Canada for this year. Okay. Uh, however, in future years, uh, we plan to take it uh, international. And uh, there are, uh, as I said, over a billion Hindus uh, around the world. And uh, there are many more who identified with the Dharma system. So uh, we want to reach out to all of them and uh, you know uh, take interested parties who want to partner in this great endeavor of ours to celebrate our shared uh, heritage you know um, uh, for for you know this month long celebration so our plan is to go international and you know it'd be just lovely to see um, you know someone someone in united uh, states someone in uk someone in you know some organization in australia and for that matter i mean india uh, there are many, many organizations there that are interested, and uh, and and believe it or not, there are uh, there are a lot of pockets of uh, you know dharma-based organizations in uh, continent of Africa, 
and uh, South America, and we would just love to welcome them to this tent. No, well, it sounds very exciting. I'm very excited to see how it goes, and I want to wish you and your organization a good luck for this. And thank you so much for joining me. Well, thank you very much, Simone. It's uh, very good to talk to you, and uh, uh, all the best. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in. This is Simone Ivani, and you're watching the International News Channel on Tag TV. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest news.